Hey, I'm Elliot and this is Mental Floss on YouTube. Today I'm gonna to talk about some misconceptions about cleanliness and germs. <laughs> Misconception number one, the five second rule. If you've been to elementary school, and I hope you have, I'm sure you've heard this one. Some claim that if you pick up food off the ground within five seconds of it being dropped, it's germ-free and safe to eat. There have actually been scientific studies on this, and they found that bacteria does make its way onto food immediately after it hits the ground. It is a smaller amount, though, so the sooner you pick it up, the less bacteria it will have, and the surface that it's dropped on does make a difference. There's less bacteria transfer from a carpet than there is from a smooth surface. But the germs aren't like five, four, three, two, one, because they can't, they're, they're in, they can't, they don't have that kind of self-control. Misconception number two, soap kills germs. Soap is actually a surfactant. So when you wash your hands, you combine soap with water, then surface tension decreases. This allows for the bacteria to be released from your hands, then they just go down the drain. They go, ha, ah, like that. Misconception number three, Viruses stay alive on hard surfaces for a long time. It's normal to be a little weirded out about touching things like doorknobs and railings in public spaces, but the truth is viruses and bacteria do die on hard surfaces. How long they stay alive depends on the specific type. The flu virus typically only survives between two and eight hours, and the cold virus lasts longer, but it's unlikely to get you sick after 24 hours, and the herpes virus dies after four hours. Misconception number four, urine disinfects burns and stings. Urine is not a disinfectant. See, aren't you glad you watched this episode. In fact, a 2014 study conducted by the Loyola University Health System found that there's actually bacteria in healthy human bladders. So not only is your urine not a disinfectant, it's also not that safe slash sterile in general. Speaking of toilet stuff, misconception number five, the toilet seat is very germy. Well, it's probably not like the cleanest place on earth, but you're unlikely to get a disease from it. And it's definitely a misconception that you can contract an STD from the toilet seat. According to a 2002 University of Arizona study, there's around 40 49 germs per square inch on the toilet seat. Compare that with the around 21,000 germs per square inch they found on people's desks at work. Still, you shouldn't touch the toilet seat with your hands. Plus, the flush handle and other surfaces in the bathroom are even dirtier, so make sure you wash your hands. Why don't you just wear gloves all the time? Misconception number six, everyone washes their hands. According to a 2013 study from Michigan State University, 10% of people do not wash their hands after using a public restroom. Gross! And that's here in a developed country where we have all the right resources. Hand washing can reduce the risk of diarrheal diseases, which affects 1.7 billion people around the world each year. A 2003 review of seven hand washing studies found that if everyone did wash their hands, there would be between 0.5 million and 1.1 million fewer deaths from diarrheal diseases annually. That's insane. Misconception number seven, everyone washes their hands correctly. According to the same Michigan State University study that I mentioned earlier, 95% of people are not washing their hands long enough to get rid of germs. So let's take this into the bathroom so I can show you how to wash your hands. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna need is some clean water. Uh, it can either be hot or cold. I prefer tepid. You just lather your hands like this. Now, once you have your hands nice and lathered, you wanna do this for about 20 seconds. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention says that that length is about the same as singing happy birthday twice, which obviously I'm not going to do because it's copyrighted actually by a guy named Tim Birthday. A lot of people don't know that. And uh, also I'm a horrible singer. And then after you're done, you just rinse it like this. Huh? They didn't know that. Turn off the water. That's important too. And then you dry off your hands. Thank you so much, sir. Misconception number eight, hand dryers just blow germs around. The microbiology department at the University of Ottawa has conducted studies about this and determined it to be not true. Hand dryers are not blowing germs all over you. Some claim that dust starts to build inside, leading to bacteria buildup, but that has also been debunked. Other studies show that hand dryers blow bacteria around the room, but these have continually been shown to not be harmful and no outbreak has ever been associated with hand dryers. Unless you're washing your hands like in the emergency room of your local hospital, dryers are fine. Also though, the cool ones are the ones that like you put your hands in and it's like the blade. You've seen those? Oh, they're so cool. Misconception number nine, dirty people get lice. Unfortunately, you can wash your hair every single day, but that will not make lice any less attracted to you. All it takes is head-to-head -head contact with someone who has lice. And this happens to six to 12 million kids between the ages of three and 12 years old in the US each year. They can start wearing a hairnet around and maybe stop hanging around playgrounds which I should probably stop doing anyway. Misconception at number 10, hand sanitizers cause bacterial resistance. Many believe that hand sanitizers create antibiotic resistant bacteria, also known as superbugs. Superbugs are real and infect around two million people a year, but probably not due to hand sanitizer use. The alcohol in hand sanitizer kills the majority of bacteria on your hands, which involves breaking down the protein in the bacteria's contents. That protein breakdown makes resistance unlikely. It's antibiotics that tend to create superbugs. As long as your sanitizer is at 
least 60% alcohol and does not contain either triclosan or triclocarbon, then you're in the clear. Thank you for watching Misconceptions on Mental Floss on YouTube, which is made with the help of all of these wonderful, wonderful people. If you have a topic for an upcoming Misconceptions episode that you would like to see, leave it in the comments and we'll check them out. I will see you next week.